Hello, this is Dr. Jason Munsell. It is uh, 3 p.m. Uh, or thereabouts uh, on Tuesday, July 22nd, uh, the year of our Lord, 2014. 2014. Um, I wanted to be, <laughs> I always say I wanted to be brief here, and then I, I'm never brief. Um, I wanted to say just a few things uh, before we get on with uh, chapter 12 here. Uh, first, thank you for allowing me to um, sort of change or switch up the schedule a little bit. Um, it took me quite a long time to get through the papers, um, and hopefully uh, you have gotten some sort of uh, feedback from me in your grading sheet, um, and I've submitted the grades uh, that, um, uh, to Koala Connection. Um, if you have any questions about anything, uh, if you disagree with the grade, if you don't understand my feedback, uh, et cetera, et cetera, please, please, please uh, contact me, email me, um, or, or tweet me, or whatever. Um, and I'm happy to talk with you uh, either face-to-face -face or, uh, or via email, or I can give you my cell phone uh, number and we can talk or something like that. But overall, I was pleased. Um, the, you know, the whole point of... of that first paper was for you to sort of find something that's not just in our book here, uh, a um, some sort of website out there that suggests certain ways of using CMC uh, in light of particular contexts, uh, and then for you to sort of summarize that information and figure out how you might apply that to uh, your own life or your present career or future uh, future career. Um, and so I saw a lot of great uh, reflection and a lot of great uh, application. Uh, so the assignment seemed to do what it was meant to do. Um, lower grades uh, tended to be things or, or papers that were a little bit incomplete, um, missing uh, something like works cited pages and, and, or, or um, not utilizing MLA or APA, and I, I did say either um, in a correct fashion. And, and a lot of you uh, simply need to polish up your writing skills. I know that's very, very uh, difficult to do. Um, I don't know um, what your backgrounds are. Some of you might be returning to school after a long time. Um, but learning how to, not, uh, to, to write um, effectively is, um, is a, it's a difficult process, and it's hard. Um, I always tell my my students that uh, when I was working on my master's uh, thesis uh, way back in the day in the, the, the early 90s um, and uh, uh, I just turned in a chapter to my uh, professor and he uh, I, he returned it the next day um, it was 25 pages and he had uh, red X's on every single page um, <laughs> and telling me I wasn't a very good writer and that I needed to, to rethink everything and start outlawing stuff and, and, and learn how to write. Um, and I did, I, well, I tried, but um, it's, it's hard. Um, and so except for several of you, I have suggested uh, going to the Academic Skills Center, or you can also um, uh, have Skype uh, uh, appointments, I believe. I haven't done this yet, I don't think, um, but I will put a link to the Academic Skills Center on um, uh, Koala Connection, so you could uh, you can utilize that. Um, I had actually, I've been in touch actually with uh, Dr. Nail, who's in charge of the Academic Skills Center, as well as Dr. Tooten, who's in charge of the um, uh, the English and Literature and Languages Division, whatever it's called. Um, and she is a huge she, well, her area is in, in uh, English composition, and so she's she's the big grammar cop of the college. Um, and she actually had suggested that I require some of you to, to come see uh, them um, at the Academic Skills Center. I, I felt uncomfortable doing that because it wasn't part of the syllabus, and I would hate to require uh, certain people to do something that I wouldn't require somebody else to do that. So um, this is going to be sort of the uh, 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 the Lord helps those who help themselves type of thing. Um, so I, I do expect excellent writing, and for those of you who I suggested, you might want to really um, work hard to polish things up. Um, I would certainly consider uh, visiting them or contacting them um, to see how they could help uh, with your writing. Uh, what, one thing that you could certainly do is to print out um, the, uh, the first paper uh, 
that I sent you along with my comments and take it to them and say, hey, you know, this, this is some, some things that Dr. Munsell said, how can I improve as a writer? And they, uh, that's their job, um, and they're very, very good at it. So I would certainly, uh, con you know, consider doing that, please, if you would like to. But I'm not going to force you, nor am I going to require you to do that, because I'd feel a little bit uncomfortable doing that. But again, be self-sufficient and, and, and go, go learn, because learning is, is good. Um, and, and writing is fun, the mental. Um, okay, so next on the agenda, apart from the, uh, uh, the weekly uh, tweets and the uh, emails, and the uh, Tumblr stuff um, is the final paper. And I haven't put the grading matrix up yet because, uh, well, it's going to be exactly like the uh, grading matrix for this uh, first paper. And the whole assignment is exactly like the first paper. The only difference is this time you're taking some aspects of our textbook uh, whether it be chapters that we have covered or maybe some chapters that you have read on your own um, because you like education um, and then applying them again to your own life to to your present careers to your future aspirations etc 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 so exactly the same thing so if you think if you're thinking in terms of an outline two main points you have that introductory um, uh, paragraph uh, that includes sort of what you're focusing on, your topic, a thesis, a preview. Uh, you have your closing um, um, uh, paragraph, and all this stuff is in the syllabus. Um, uh, it's just, I say more about it for the first paper because, again, the second paper is exactly alike. And then the first part of your paper will be uh, either focusing on a particular chapter or, or teasing out or, or bringing out several different things from several different, several different chapters and sort of summarizing uh, what this material in the, in the textbook says. And then second part, applying that stuff very thickly and very richly and very specifically uh, to your own life, your current career, future career, and so forth and so on. And as, as last time, I'm happy to look at rough drafts. Um, so but please send me rough drafts, but please don't send me rough drafts sort of the day of. Um, and I'm also giving you next week a lot more sort of free time uh, because this stuff is going to have to be due earlier. You don't have the full weekend uh, simply because uh, my grades for you will be due um, uh, pretty quickly after the uh, our, our two weeks or four weeks are over with. We've got two more weeks this week and one more week and we're done. Um, so... Uh, let me know how I can help. So really, the only things remaining, this week's tweets, uh, blogs, and emails, then next week's tweets, blogs, and emails, and then that final paper. And, and that's, that's, the, uh, that's our four weeks together. So with all that being said, and by the way, I mean, again, I, you all are doing excellent work. I was really, really pleased overall with the paper. My only sort of hesitation was, I think, uh, in some areas, uh, many of you need to work on your writing skills. Um, the uh, this chapter um, lecture seven. This is lecture seven. Chapter twelve is all about uh, rethinking friendship. And by the way, um, I'm not sure exactly how you've been doing this. Either it's sort of watching me, um, and and maybe having um, maybe watching me with your iPad or something like that. If you have an iPad, I'm not going to be using my iPad right here. If you didn't know that already. Um, and then looking at the uh, the PowerPoint on some other screen or else uh, looking at the PowerPoint and then um, and then just listening to me. Um, so however you are doing it, um, you know, uh, follow along here as we as we go uh, through uh, this um, all together because we are friends. Slide two is is just that's what friends are for. It's one of my favorite songs. It's always touching. Um, Dionne Warwick um, is, she still do the psychic stuff. Um, but that's such a delightful song. Slide three. Uh, one of the things, sort of a, the setup of this entire chapter, one of the things um, 
I noticed that the, the textbook talks about, and I can't remember if this term has been used before, but it talks about um, how uh, it's looking at friendship and, and, and um, thinking about various relational variables. Um, I, don't, I didn't know if you knew what a variable is, um, and I'm going to, I haven't put it up yet, but I'm going to put um, an extra sort of supplemental handout on Casey that sort of talks about um, the nature of uh, social scientific research when you're thinking about um, basic things like uh, independent and dependent variables, and that's what they're talking about. Um, it, you know, science likes to talk in terms of variables. For instance, um, here is an independent variable and my head is a dependent variable. I can manipulate the independent variable to see if I do something to that, to the dependent variable, what will happen. So I'm going to manipulate the independent variable the result is, ow. Um, that's that's basically it. That's that's science. Um, so basically, um, variables are just these little conceptual things that that scientists like to talk about. Um, the larger thing is we simply need to rethink the very nature of friendship when we're when we're thinking in terms of. Um, the world in which we live in, this the CMC world. And uh, basically they're saying all the old research, all the old, you know, uh, conceptualizations of friendship is based almost completely on face-to-face -face, uh, type of research and face-to-face -face thinking, and we need to get uh, over that. We need to get over uh, this notion that friendship is uh, fragile, um, and more into this idea that friendships are flexible. Fragile, bad. Flexible, good. Um, and so this chapter is really all about friendship as, as, as flexible. Flexible friendships. That's what this chapter is about. And also, though, by the way, um, as you move to sort of the second uh, page of this particular chapter, um, this is another theme that has grown out of a lot of these chapters, and that is CMC can both help and hinder. Um, so that's always important to, to consider. How can you use this as a tool um, for good instead of evil? Next slide. Traditional views. Friendship as fragile. Sorry, I have the image there. I don't know how many of you have this. If you're like me, you sort of have a Christmas ritual of watching the the Christmas story, whatever it's called, um, and when he gets his leg lamp and it says for Geely, uh, or he thinks it says for Geely, um, because it's Italian, <laughs> and the wife says, no, it's fragile. Um, okay, so that being said, um, slide five, okay, the old view, um, the fragile view. Uh, there's a quick definition of friendship on page 226. Uh, traditionally, friendship has been viewed as a voluntary, uh, potentially fragile relationship uh, due to a lack of external pressure to continue the relationship. Uh, so it sort of talks about what the old uh, perspective was and this idea uh, that friendships oftentimes die or deteriorate basically because folks cease um, or, or increase geographical distance, right? So you grew up in such and such town, you move away, bye-bye, and that's, that's it. Um, but again, a lot of that stuff, uh, they say, is based on this old-fashioned face-to-face perspective. Um, and there's three reasons they say that uh, sort of long distance uh, friendships um, were perceived to, uh, to erode uh, more so than uh, these geographically close friendships. Um, and that's on page 227. And basically, it's the top of page 227. Um, the, the whole idea that when folks move apart, or walk to college, or whatever. Um, individuals must invest more time and energy in long-distance friendships. 